These are GCSE Physics past paper questions. Unit 8, waves and sound. So unit 8, waves and sound. So the first question here, I'll just um, scan in a little bit. We can. Um, it says a stone falls into a pool of water and causes a wave. The wave causes a cork floating on the surface to move. So this is June 08, paper 2. The graph below shows how the displacement of the cork from its original position varies with time. And the graph shows a sine wave. So you can see the displacement is positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, and so on. And the displacement is about its original position, this rest position here. So it's, it's moving up then it's moving down, moving up, then down, and so on. Use the graph to find how long it takes a complete wavelength to pass the cork. So you're going to look at the graph here, and I'm just going to draw on it one complete wavelength. It's from zero there to two. And so the time taken is two seconds. That's the time. Part two, calculate the frequency of the water wave. So you know that one, you have one wavelength and that takes two seconds. So frequency, if you always remember your definition of frequency, frequency is the number of waves in one second. Okay, so we know it takes one complete wavelength, it takes two seconds. So in one second then we have got one wavelength over 2 and the answer then is equal to a half. So to find out how many one seconds you divide by 2 and you get an answer of 0 0.5 hertz. So you get one um, mark for your answer and you would get one mark for suggesting that one wavelength is 2 seconds. The horizontal distance between the peak of a water wave and the next wave is 0 0.8 metres. Use this information and your answer to part two to calculate the speed of the water wave. So if we have we look back at the diagram again, it says from the peak of one wave to the next is not 0.8 meters. So really the um, information that they're telling us there is the wavelength. And the wavelength then is not 0.8 meters. So if we just write this down here. So lambda is not 0.8 meters. We already know from the answer above that the frequency is half a hertz, 0.5 hertz. So you're going to write down your equation V equals lambda F and that's equal to 0.8 times 0.5 and you're going to get an answer and the answer is 0.4. So it's 0.4. They've already the unit in so you don't need to worry about the unit but it's 0.4 meters per second. So to get the marks you get one mark for this, two marks for putting the numbers in and one mark for V is equal to lambda F. So next part of the question from June 08 paper 2 is part B. A single sound is made by hitting a metal plate with a small hammer. So this is hit over here. Um, the microphone is connected to a timer timer starts when the sound first reaches the microphone and stops when the sound next reaches the mi microphone. Describe the path of the sound that stops the timer. So you know that the sound is going to travel to the microphone and that starts it and then the sound is going to travel to the wall, be reflected from the wall as an echo and back to the microphone. And that's the path of the sound. So to describe that you'll say that the sound travels to the wall reflects and travels back or echoes, reflects or echoes back to the microphone. Now really what the examiners are looking for are that is that reflecting or echoing idea. That's what they're really looking for. 
The microphone then is placed one and a half meters from the wall. The timer shows a reading of 0 0.009 seconds. Use these measurements to calculate the speed of sound. So this is an echo question because it tells you that the, the timer takes 0 0.009 seconds um, by the time the echo is received again. So in, as normal in echo questions, if you take the time and divide it by two, that tells you how long it actually took to get to the wall. So the time, that's the echo time, I'm gonna write echo time there. Um, but so then the actual time is not point, not not, and divided by two gives you four or five seconds. So then you can proceed with the rest of your question, S equals D over T. D you know is one and a half meters. T is not point, not not four or five seconds. Now given this is the speed of sound in air, you know you should know that you're looking for an answer of in around 330, 340. And this answer comes out to be 333. 0.3 repeated. So if you leave it just to one decimal place or even um, just round it up to one number, you'll have 333. I'm just going to put the 0.3 in there. And so you get four marks one mark for your answer, <clears throat> one mark for your um, numbers. You'll get a second mark there for working out your 0.0045. I'm just going to write it in here. And your fourth mark then is speed is distance over time.